great day. Um, Joseph uh, just coming to uh, actually just jumps there right here for a minute. Okay, actually stay right there. CJ, let me know. Good or bad. <laughs> all right. First of all, I'd like to start off with National Superhero Day. I didn't know this until the end of the day. It started on April 28, 1995 by a group of employees at Marvel Comics. I really didn't know that. Every April 28th since has been celebrated as the National Superhero Day. Hmm. That's why we're here today. I, I didn't know that until the other day. So we have a superhero day today, okay? Um, in commemoration of the National Superhero Day, it is my sincere honor to recognize Joseph should be in a letter carrier of the, for the Steinway Station in Astoria, Queens, as a true postal hero. Today, in front of our legendary fictional superhero, we recognize you as our real life postal hero for a selfless act of kindness and compassion by running to rescue a traumatized young child and then alerting families to get out of the burden the building deserves our admiration and inspires all of us. On behalf of the United States Postal Service, I want to present you the first ever USPS National Superhero Day Award. Right. The award is a civil Sorry? I'm sorry. There you go. Let's shake his hand first. Hold on, hold on to this. Let's see the award. Show the award. For those who don't know, please pass this around. Here's a bio on Mr. Joe. Please pass it around. I hope I this. Shake your hand. things, all right? I know you guys know your fellow employees, but I really don't. So let's go into here. All right. While making his daily rounds to the story of Queens community, Joseph Rubina came upon an apartment building he has delivered for many 20 years. Okay? While distributing mail to 24 families residing in the building, he began to hear a loud crying and screaming come from what sounds to be a little girl. Joseph immediately ran towards the sounds without any reservation of what may be in store for him, only knowing he had to help the little girl in distress. Joseph ran up the stairs to the fourth floor when he saw the traumatized young child. As he ran towards her, he realized there was a raging fire upon the fourth sink near where the child was standing. Joseph immediately called 911 and then proceeded to bang on all the doors in the building, sounding off to get out. When the fireman got there, Yubina, Mr. Yubina, had already made sure everyone was out of the building. The next day, tenants from the building came to Steinway Station to thank Joe with gifts, cards, and lots of great gratefulness. The tenants of the building were displaced to the fire. However, they made that the time in the recovery to visit the post office to see Joe and thank for his heroism. You know, I, I just want to take the time out for this. You know, we do a lot of good things in the post office. This is really a great day for Joe. I want everybody to congratulate him. Uh, a couple of things. I want everybody to take a, you know, maybe everybody take a quick knee. All right, I want a few more pictures. Take, take a quick knee, please. Except for you. You stay out. You stay out. Carrie's take a knee. Carrie's take a knee. Take a knee. Carrie's take a knee. Sitting on the floor. Take a knee. Take a knee. Uh, this is the building where the fire occurred. As you can see, the top floor is boarded up and the flames were gushing from that top floor. The apartment below were damaged by the water, as you can see. The address is 2570 41st Street. 